I will be all I'm Tarn Poole from Tacoa, Georgia. I'm a single parent home. I have three sisters. With you. My mother, my mother being a single parent and her drive, the way she committed herself to her three children every day, every night working hard, uh, working late, uh, just to provide for us. And, and that drives me every day. Specifically being patient and, and being patient about the, the game I love, and that's football. Uh, I had, and, and, it, and it was last year, well, I, well, it was actually been two years since I actually had not been playing and it was tough, and it really challenged my relationship with God, and, and it really challenged my faith. And I was just like, you know, why me? And, and, and my mom always told me, and it still stuck with me. Uh, I just always say, why me? Talk on the phone with me, and she always be like, why not you? And hey, it's not all about you. It's not about the glory you get, it's about the glory you give me, so. And I lay it all out, I remember your truth, cause it sends me free. It helped greatly, it helped greatly just meditating on the word, and, and it just being there, just, just be my comfort. And, and you know, I, I went to it and say, hey, uh, I'm not where I want to be, but here, here are the guidelines. You know, God showed me the guidelines uh, throughout the whole trial. Yeah, it was tough, man. It was tough believing it because nothing changed. But I continue to believe every day. I took steps forward every day, and, and God was there with me. And whether I believed it or not, He was there. He was pushing me uh, and just helping me get through it the best way I could to keep a positive attitude and keep my mindset correct. So. Right. Changed, man. I, I, I was a rug rat. I was, and I had a, I had a terrible attitude, my mom could tell you, man. I wish she was here to tell you because it was horrible. But knowing what she did for me, how wrong that was. And, well, I began uh, a Bible study with my friend, my, my teammates, my, my classmates, and I knew there was something bigger than me in, in this life, and, and, I, and I knew it wasn't just all about me. So, and I heard uh, uh, someone preaching about, uh, you know, Christ, and how you get to know Christ, and, and you get a better relationship, and how you have a better life, and, and I, and I knew that, that God was calling me just that one day to go up there and just say, I want to change my life from now. I, and I remember I was uh, 14 to 15 years old. It was a Saturday in August. Uh, it was my time, and my time to go up there and change my life. And, and that day continues to impact my life today. Come over here. And I was the first to go out all my, after all, the, all my classmates, all my teammates. And it was a big step for me because I was young and I didn't care what anybody thought. But it was just me and God up there. Uh, it was a great feeling to know my life was going to change from that day forward. Since I did change, I, I began to treat her uh, like she should be treated, how, how she should be uh, treated, uh, be appreciated for the things she's done. And, and, and from then on, I told her, man, I love you. I thank you for what you've done in my life. And I thank you for what you continue to do and, and, and just to be that fortress for your children. And I, and I continue just to tell her that, that I appreciate it, man. Being 14, 15, telling her this was, was a huge step for me. So it says, commit your works to the Lord and not unto men. And, and, that's, and that's what I live by. Because a man can let you down, but God's always there. So that's what I commit to every day. Just being a, a good guy. Um, just being a great guy on and off the field. And I don't want people to define me on my, by my success on the field. And I want to be remembered just for influencing people's lives. And to the best of my abilities and, and being a selfish influence. Because people are going to remember you, how you influence their life. They're going to say, oh, he's a great tailback, he's a great tailback, but what are they going to say at the end of that? I gave my life to Christ when I was 15 years old, and, and I know that if God can work on a young man like me and come from where I'm from, that he can also work on you. And if you feel stuck, if you feel out of place, if you feel un unappreciated, uh, just know that, that Christ is always there, that God's always there with you if you believe. 